this project we place uh, bridges that were deficient over the Fort Line and Holbrook Canals. And what we did, we built bridges offline. Then we put those bridges and made them become a detour. Once they became the detour, we removed the old bridges. Those old bridges, a track system was put in place for a rolling bridge and a sliding bridge. And once that was ready, we shut down the, uh, the entire state highway with the intent of two and a half to three days, sliding one bridge and rolling the other bridge into place, putting the roadway back together, guardrail, and opening up the traffic. You know, this project uh, utilized a process called construction manager general contractor. It's referred to as CMGC. We thought bring in the contractor early. He can give us ideas, means, methods of doing that, and also the type of materials to order, and to see if it was even constructible. So that's why we brought Kiwit on early in, into the design to help us through those issues. Basically, we provided uh, constructability reports, some of our, our expertise, as well as an opinion of probable cost to, to help CDOT firm down a budget for the project. We're looking for innovative contracting methods that aren't used often. Uh, accelerated bridge construction. Things that we can do in a short amount of time and make them work. So what we're trying to find out, can we build bridges next to an existing bridge, shut down traffic for a couple days and put a new bridge in place, get a road back in place, put safety factors up and get it open to traffic. On Holbrook, we will slide using Teflon plates in a push motion. We installed a track system, which is a Teflon actually, and we installed a jacking system on a track that looks kind of like a shark tooth. We knocked down the old bridge and extended the abutments and put that track system in place so we'd be able to slide that new bridge, which is acting as a detour, into the final configuration. We put soap on the track, and then the jack system actually has a bore and stroke in those teeth I told you about and does its thing. It pulls 20 inches at a time, resets, 20 inches at a time, resets through that entire process until it was moved into the final position. The slide itself was successful and they did it in one hour, two hours ahead of schedule. The one over Fort Lyon, we will jack and roll in a pull motion. And what we've done, we put jacks underneath the structure itself. We'll actually physically lift the bridge up, then we'll set it on some high strength, heavy duty rollers, and those rollers will be propelled by a jacking system, a threaded rod system. We have to be sure we don't get any translation of the bridge and get a kink while we're moving, so we'll have to progress, and this is kind of a man oper operation on this one with the jacking and the movement. Another thing uh, was utilized on the Fort Lyon Bridge was a, was a back wall in the abutment, whereas on the Holbrook Bridge, the back wall was actually attached to the bridge deck. Being the back wall on Fort Lyon really helped us out with our paving operations where we could fully top mat our asphalt, so when we slide the bridge in, it's truly a turnkey ready to go. Whereas Holbrook, we have a couple closure backfills to do is to bring up our asphalt. If it works in a, a rural area, we're looking at future projects that we have that in urban areas where there is a lot of traffic and how does it, how will, will we be able to utilize the slide and roll? So it's a good experimental project for us also.